okay this is the basic circuit for the serial data transmission so by this circuit one can easily understand how data transfer happens serially into any microcontroller or microprocessor how this circuit is working see this is these are the deep switches and this positive input that is giving one and this by default giving zero so these deep switches are pulled down with the help of this 1 kilo ohm resistance and this connect these pins connect to this led bar graph and this is the 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is the least significant bit and this is the most significant and last two are not uh, using because these are the ninth and tenth leds so this connections given to this 165 input a b c d e f g h and output we are getting from this pin so pin number 9 and one end is connected to the led so we can see what is the output and that output is going into the input that means into the serial data in of this 74 595 and that is shifted out and can be seen on this display we can send one by one this is the output enable for the 74595 and here is also the output enable okay this is serial clock given to both the chips which is common with the help of this triple five timer okay. this is a monostable circuit monostable clock we are get, getting from this circuit this is the trigger pin number two is connected to this switch which is pull high so we are giving the ground pulse uh, or you can say negative pulse or zero to this pin number two and we are getting out from pin number 3 this switch is connected to the load pin of that is pin number 1 of this 74165 and this switch is connected to the ship clock so we can see the shifting over here and this is the reset or clear switch for this 595 so data can be reset by this switch so let us see how the data is transferring So first we reset this thing. Now see one one at a time. So we latch or load the data. This data now load into this seven four six five one six five. And now we are shifting one bit at a time. So one bit now shifted and this is now here second bit third bit fourth bit fifth bit six seven eight so now this data is here you can see this data is here now reset this all and now we'll shift all the data all the 8 bits at once so first latch or load this data into 74165 now we are giving the 8 clocks 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that is now latch into the 74595 and we will see by this one push up okay. now reset and go for the another pattern okay. now this pattern so latch this one two three four five 
six, seven, eight. See, uh, same data. Same data is coming here. One more time. Okay. This is the most significant bit, and this is the most significant bit. This is the most significant bit. This is the least significant. This is the least significant bit. So we we'll latch this data and giving the eight clock one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can see the same data is here. So data transmission is successful. So if this is the out final Q shift, we can cascade another fine and phi with the help of this. So we giving this to this serial in of this. You can see it. Now let's see what happened. First, I just clear this and I latch this thing. So, uh, okay, I latch right. Right now, I latch. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. What is this? So you can see the data is coming back again without any latching. So same data is rotating inside. I don't load any data for that. So same data is rotated. You can see I, I do not load any data. data is rotating now so this input we once we give given to this 74165 and we shifted it into this 5 and 5 and then again that giving to this 165 this is the serial input for 165 so coming back same data and giving to the 5 and so this create the circle of data transmission